What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan and in this video we're going to talk about how to work with Terraform workspaces with GitHub Actions and your CI CD workflow. Now if you're not familiar with Terraform workspaces, the best way to think about it is kind of like a segregation of data. Well actually the better way to think about it is more of like a segregation of environments. So let's say you have a dev environment, a staging environment, and a production environment. Well you definitely don't want to mix and match all of the code between the dev environment and between the UAT or the staging environment and the production environment. So that way you can actually separate your Terraform state files. So you can use the same exact code throughout your workflow or rather throughout your environments, but it's all in a different state file. So let's go ahead and set up our GitHub Actions workflow. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to set up our name and then we're going to set up how we're going to be running this now on workflow dispatch essentially means that it's going to be a manual effort of starting the deployment. So we're going to actually have to go in and we're going to have to press a button for our CI CD versus just, you know, if we push our code up to GitHub and our action automatically runs. The next thing that we'll do is we'll set up our jobs. So our job is to deploy. The name is deploy. We're going to be running on an Ubuntu container via GitHub Actions. So it's going to be one of the environments that GitHub manages for us. And then I have an environment variable here called dev. And you're going to see why in a second. But that dev environment is essentially for our workspace. So let's go ahead and we'll set up our steps. So our first step is going to be our checkout and our checkout is gonna check out our code from GitHub, that way we can use it in our workflow. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll configure the AWS credentials. So what this is doing is, it's taking our credentials, which we'll see in a second, but we store them as secrets in GitHub, and it's pulling the AWS access key ID and the AWS secret key. And then we're also specifying our region there. So next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set up our Terraform step here and what this is going to do is this is going to essentially install Terraform on our Ubuntu GitHub Actions runner. And then finally we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up our Terraform steps here. So our Terraform steps we're going to be using the working directory of AWS S3 bucket. What does that actually mean? Well here's the code right here. We can see that we have our AWS S3 bucket and within here we're just creating a really basic S3 bucket. We're just gonna call it Terraform GitHub Actions. Versioning is enabled. And then for the server-side encryption, we're gonna be using AES 256-bit. And as you can see, we also have the directory right here, which is where the code lives. Now, for our commands, we're gonna be initializing our environment, of course, so the Terraform provider can get pulled down. And then on line 31, you see that we're creating a new workspace and that workspace is actually coming from the environment here. So let me give you a scenario. Let's say you had multiple environments that you wanted to use within your GitHub action. You wanted to deploy dev, UAT, or dev and staging at the same time. You wanted to deploy staging and prod at the same time. You could do something like, you know, environment dev, and then you could do environment staging, right? And then at that point, what you could do is, you know, you could have another Terraform workflow for your staging environment. We'll go ahead and we'll remove that here. Go ahead and we'll change that back. Okay, so our environment that we're creating is for our dev environment. Next, we're gonna select our workspace on line 32 here, and then we're gonna run Terraform plan. And then on line 33, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select our workspace again, and then we're gonna run Terraform apply to create our S3 bucket. So with that, let's go ahead and push our code up to GitHub. We'll call this Terraform workspace. All right, we'll push this up. So now let's head over to GitHub. All right, so we're at GitHub here. I'm on my YouTube repo. I'm gonna to go to Actions. And then as you can see, I have a new action here and it's called Terraform Workspaces, okay? So really quick, what I just wanna show is if I go to Settings and I go to Secrets and then I click on Actions, I scroll down, you can see here that I have that AWS access key ID and the AWS secret access key secret. So you will have to create your secrets if you want your GitHub action to work properly for AWS or Azure, really anywhere. 
right? So I'm going to go to Terraform Workspaces here, and then I'm going to go ahead and, as you can see, I was playing around with this a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to run our workflow. So let's go ahead and let's run our workflow. Let's give this a second here. We'll go ahead and we'll refresh. Right? And as we can see, our workspace is now running. So if I click on deploy here, we can go ahead and we can start to see what's happening inside of our GitHub action. And it looks like GitHub actions is actually a little bit slow today for some reason, because we are waiting for that hosted runner to come online. It's, it's actually been a few minutes here on my end. What I want to do really quick is go back to the code here. Just confirm. Yep. Running on Ubuntu latest. That should be perfectly fine. All right, let's go ahead and give this a few minutes here. All right, and as we can see, this is now officially running. As we can see, our Terraform environment has been initialized. If I scroll back up here, we can see that we created and switched to the dev workspace. If we scroll down here, we can see that the plan has run successfully. And that's how you can work with Terraform workspaces using GitHub Actions and AWS. Thank you so much for watching.